All right, we're going to tie a spoon fly. I get these patterns from uh, Sightcast out of Texas. I like them pretty good. Uh, there's some videos out there where you can make your own uh, out of some retro like you would put on a drone spoon. Um, I bet that works good. I have some of that. I just do it this way because it's they've already got everything ready. So I'm gonna put a little we're gonna do this one with orange and put a little marabou hackle on here. I know the background noise is probably loud but it's hot today so I got the fans running. Alright. Got us a little bit of marabou on there. It's light and a little bit goes a long way. Now we're gonna take some uh, just some flash, gold flash. Now we'll put a little bit of copper in there too. I like the flash on these. You'll see what I do with it all here in a minute. Get a little bit of red here. So I got red, gold, and copper. Doesn't have to be exactly like this, but this is just how I do it. No, that's not exactly the preferred way to get your flash and boo tied on there, but it works. I do prefer to do it the other way, like how Lefty does it, or Bob Clouser. But I'm just trying to keep the video quick so I can get it all going, and then I'm going to take and wrap this down. The spoon pattern takes up a lot of the... Uh, whole lot of the hook so I'm uh, not going to go all the way up I just want to get the main part in the center this one's messy as hell but time you wrap back down and it comes out all right all right then I'll take some clear finish put over that that would like now this is the part I could have done this ahead but I kind of wanted you guys to to see how I did it I uh, uh, kind of figured all this out on my own Got my copper. Gonna put that down here. I'm gonna do the bottom side with blue because these are gonna look like blue crabs. Line it up. to get it as good as you can you can move these around a little bit once you get them together there you go got them lined up pretty good flatten them out so you got copper on one side blue on the other all right I'm gonna go back down here again you got to go way down to the bottom of these hooks um, these hooks are the sight cast hooks the smaller ones uh, let's see, these are the number ones. They uh, had this built for doing that. And then this is a trick that I, I learned. Uh, got one of my marabou pieces up here. 
All right, so if you take, it takes a little trial and error, but you wanna fold this over is what you wanna do. So let's test it out. It should be about at the bottom of the, where it sits flat on my vise. I know that everybody uses all kinds of vices, probably fancier vices than I do. But this, the vise I learned to tie on was a griffin, and I like griffin. All right, so I've tied this on, as you can see, where it's laying flat like that. I don't secure it all right away because I want to be able to slide it around. All right, I may have gone a little too far back on that one. a little too far back. I had positioned the hook a little higher up this time. There we go. We just make an adjustment here. Man, this one's getting messy. All oh, the marabou's ah, blowing around. The last three I tied, I didn't have any problem with, but of course this one I go to video. See, that's about right. Your spoon will lay flat and stop about where the hook starts. All right, so I'm gonna stop for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and put my, uh, go ahead and put me some, this is solar res, I prefer to use that. Um, final finishes. I think it cures a little bit better. A little bit of solar res on there. That cured up. Hit it with the light. to get this nice and flush up against the hook you get a better spoon that way wrap it down a little bit check it before I settle it got to come over a little bit looks nice and straight very good angle on here let me tell you these things will fish they don't just fish they slay you can ask anybody that I've uh, fished with that seen me use these spoons and they'll tell you that they slay. Give me a little couple of whip finishes going on here. No fancy whip tool in my shop. We'll cut that off. We're going to give that a light seal with some brush on here. I like to overbuild my flies. I don't like them coming apart before I even catch a fish on them if I've had to make 150 fly casts covering ground. Nothing irritates me more than a cheaply built fly comes apart on you before you even get fishing good. So you can talk about how I use my thread or whatever, I don't care. I like to build my fly so they last. Already pre-cut some gold barbell here, some bead chain get that ready now we're gonna go with the red I always like to add some red on my spoon fly somewhere whether it's in the bling or somewhere I'm gonna trim our tag in off we're gonna get our barbell eyes seated on here just like they tell you one two three one two three now this is where I go off the reservation and make sure that it looks good and then I get lots of nice cross wraps on here all kinds of wraps coming back to the hook again I don't like my flies coming apart on me and there's nothing that irritates me more than a twisted clouser eye get some nice cross wraps going on here make sure that it's nice and seated 
way if you start losing some thread you've got plenty more to fall back on this is the trick wrap here learn this from watching a Bob Clouser video and then learn it from Joe shoot watching him tie all right so we'll start getting us some whips going here close this off nice and tight on the whip finish trim it all right time to seal it go back with the solar res this is where the trick goes I pull back my hair come down between where the hook and the pattern meet and get in there real thoroughly come across the top where the wrap is so that it bonds together now I'll, I'll get me a thin layer going in here if you get too much you can wipe it off with a small craft brush but I try to wipe it down on the edges get it back up in there Let's see, let's try to see how our coverage is. Got a little bit we can do up here. Got a piece of fuzz in there messing up my, there we go. All right, now we're gonna tilt that back a little bit so that it falls back. There's a gap in the back in this particular one. I want my solar res to fall back into that gap then I'm gonna hit it with a UV light. Let me get back on the camera here so you can see. Hit it with my UV light. Go up do the back side now. Hit this back side, get a nice coating on there. Get the clouds rise. Get a nice run it off the edge here. Make sure that I'm getting those edges. Spread it around. Get real good, coat it up top here. See what that looks like. That actually spread out pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty consistent. Doesn't always do that. Sometimes you got to get the craft brush on it. Now we get the double light going. Makes me feel better anyway, whether it makes a difference or not. The uh, solar res I use is the flow thin hard. I also have the thick on there. I use that, the pinkish colored one. Thick hard formula. It works pretty good around the hook, but it's a little too heavy. It uh, doesn't flow quite as well and builds a little thick on the spoon body, I think, for, for my liking. Make sure that's cured up fairly decently. Hit it a few more times. and hard as you can see a little bit of flex in there you don't want to build it too hard when the fish hits it it'll break it haven't had that happen yet but a little flex is okay there it is copper and blue spoon fly thanks guys
tight lines. See you next time.